Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I've just drunk my morning coffee, and uh, Sean Murray, Sean of the Murrays, has gone stuck on up a post over on the Twitterverse. Let's jump on over to the Twitterverse, and I'll show you what he's tweeted. Or X'd. Is it X'd? I don't know. Tweeted. X'd. That doesn't sound right, does it? I'm still not used to this whole X malarkey. You know, anyway, so there we go. Sean Murray Hotfix 4.64 is releasing now on all platforms with lots of fixes and improved meats. Let's jump on over and let's take a quick look, see, shall we? Okay, so here we go. Orbitals patch 4.64. Hello, everyone. And then the usual bump. And here we have a whole ream of fixes. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for, the, for you guys and the view of us. There we go. So here we go. There's quite a lot to do with frigates here. A lot to do with how the holograms appear, how the communications appear. It's like the living frigates at the moment make out that they've got a, an, a whole freaking fleet of people inside them or whatever. A whole crew. That's the word I was looking for. And yeah, no, they haven't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so scrolling down here, there's quite a lot of bits and bobs like that. And going past all of that, you're going to get to this. So added a set of fighter class wings that were missing from the Starship Fabricator options. Don't even know what wings they are. I'd imagine ship hunters amongst you and the keen-eyed eagles amongst you would know. Faced a number of UI issues in the Starship Fabricator, particularly the ultra-wide resolutions. Fixed an issue with the Starship Fabricator that could incorrectly bring up warnings about not having enough ship components to finalise design after the design had already been locked in. That's a bit of an oddity. I didn't come across that. Alright, I guess it must have been a thing. Oh, here we go. Here's some interesting ones. The mannequins around the space station, exosuit technology merchants' kiosks, are now procedurally generated. Heck yeah. I'm wondering if they missed a trick there, because a lot of the tubes I saw were empty. Okay, anyway, we'll have to check that one out at some point, people. Fixed an issue that could cause asteroid fields near to the player's capital ship to flicker. Okay. I have seen that, yes. I've also seen them flickering near to the actual space stations as well. They just all go white. That's not exactly flickering. But yeah, they, they, they lose all their textures all of a sudden. Fixed a number of minor visuals issues in space stations. Nice, coolio. Yeah. Fixed an issue that caused some new space station base parts to clip off the edge of the screen at the construction research terminal. Yes, I noticed that when I unlocked them all. Heck yes. Added in the UI. So when you go to the base, yeah, you know what I mean. Added a sign to indicate the location of the teleporter within the space station. Did it need that? Hmm. I think everybody knew where it was, but okay, fine. Improve the visual responsiveness of interactable items on the space station. Okay, cool, yeah, sweet. Fix the number of collision issues on the space station. Cool. Improve the pad selection when teleporting to the space station. Okay, I'm hoping that this collision issues on the space station. I'm hoping that means when you go to select a freaking vendor and you want to interact with a vendor, but you end up hitting up the multi-tool thing next to it or something like that. The hitting up the vendors was really finicky. Hopefully that's what they're fixed. Fix a number of minor visual issues with the mode select menu. Okay. Not really noticed anything there. Fix an issue that could cause inventory slots to highlight with a flash as usable for crafting when they are inaccessible in the inventory. <laughs> That'd be a bit frustrating, wouldn't it? Increase the charge duration and effectiveness of the Minotaur bore. Okay, I don't really use the Minotaur all too often. I do sometimes, but it's rarity. Okay, improve the visual effects of civilian ship weaponry when they warp in to assist the space combat against pirates. Oh! Cool. Always up for a few improvements when it comes to visuals, heck yes. And there's quite a lot of other sort of improvements there as we're scrolling on down. Fix an issue could, could, could occasionally render Gex as too tall when using the ship communicator. Freaking sweet. Okay, cool. So there's a lot of visually tight bits and bobs going on here as well, people. And yes, the hydraulic arms were difficult to delete after they were placed. Also, the ceiling lights, you know, the big round ones, they're annoying to try and delete there. I end up deleting the whole freaking base. But yeah, it looks like there's quite a lot of bits and bobs here that are just sort of, you know, improvements to visual overhauls. And it, there is one there for blockers in the Space Anomaly mission chain. Okay. Okay, we're upgrading from very old saves. That could have affected me. Woo! Okay, cool, yeah. 
Fix this should have prevented addresses from being displayed in the Wonders catalogue in French, okay? So there's lots of little bits and bobs there. Yeah. Added a number of new alien words to learn and translate. Ooh. I wonder if that's going to give a hint as to what might be to come inside of the next update. I'm going to have to go hit up some knowledge stones, aren't I, people inside of the universe? Heck yes! Anyway, there's probably a few others that you've spotted amongst these that you've gone, oh wow, to. I've already seen a few that I can go and test and try. There's a load of crash fixes down there and, you know, hangs and all that sort of shenanigans and memory issues. So it's quite a big bug release. Let's go to the release log and let's see if it gives an indication. So, although that they said that they're rolling it out on all platforms over on the old Twitterverse, now on all platforms, that just means that they've put it out to all platforms. It doesn't mean that it's there on all platforms right now. If I was to log in on my Xbox, there's no way I'd have the update. If I logged in to my PC, yes, got the update. PS4, got the update. PS5, got the update. Nintendo Switch and Xbox, no update for you, lads. No. I mean, the last thing that the PC and Xbox got, apparently, was just the massive great big orbital bug fixtures there. There's been two other patches that have gone out that they haven't had yet, apparently. Oh no, no. 6.1 they missed, 6.2 they missed, they got 6.3. This is now 6.4. Will it go out or will you miss a couple? Who freaking knows, people? Who knows what's going on? But yeah, to see if it is on your platform, just check the release log page. Right now, it's not on Xbox. It's not on Switch. That could change. Anyway, people inside the view of us, hopefully this has been quite helpful to you guys out there. Thank you. And even if it hasn't, you know, still smash that like. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, it pushes out for the algorithm. Do me a favour. Yeah, plug me into a Sega. Yeah. It's an oddity, isn't it, that we now don't have Sega consoles. You know, we had Nintendo and Sega that used to go head to head and Sega sort of dropped out of the race. And then PlayStation and Sony entered the fray. And now we've got Sony and Xbox going toe to toe. I am hearing, though, that Xbox, their next console, might actually link into the Steam online store as well as their own Xbox store, which could be an interesting sort of breakthrough. It would be nice to see Sony also latch on to Steam too, making it more of an open audience and open platform. And I'm hoping we see less of this war between consoles. Because, you know, I miss having a Sega console as a choice. I loved having a Nintendo and a Sega. Both had their pros and cons. It's just, uh, yeah, anyway, we're going off on a side tangent. This is No Man's Sky news. Maybe I should make another video on the whole progression of console versus PC, because as you know, I'm building a PC. Anyway, yeah, I'll make a separate video, I think. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.